Fat testing holiday nights at Islands H2O. Orlando water parks love their gators. Wow. That is the most lights I've seen at any of the parks or Christmas parties I've gone to. This is gorgeous. That one's really pretty. A s'mores kit is available for purchase. Audio sync tree. The flamingos are really Orlando. Another light tunnel. There's a little kitty light up train going around the park. All the proceeds tonight go to give kids the world. Christmas calories don't count. These may be the most absurd thing. Hot chocolate. That looks amazing. That is a really cute inflatable. I can't tell if that's supposed to be dessert stand and the T is missing the, the cross through or dessert land. Dessert, desserts land. Maybe that's it. Desserts land, okay. Oh, the ice cream cone is fun. All the cabanas are dressed up. They're decorated for the holidays. Looks like I found Santa's cottage. Okay, this is cool. The light up palm trees, that's fun. So I, I haven't fat tested this park yet, but I will point out that two riders are required for this ride and uh, there's a combined weight of 400 pounds. So um, I would need a very small other rider. The lazy river is currently drained. I assume that's a lazy river. This is a cute bounce house slide. You take a little tube up and then slide down. Seems like the main focus here is a lot of selfie places. The Island H2O Water Park Christmas Tree. If you're gonna drain it, I say go ahead and decorate it and make it a trail. This sign tells stories. We have another light tunnel. There's a foam party every 30 minutes. Here's the leftover from the last foam party. Okay, this is cute. We have little uh, ornaments and they're sand art and this is actually not an extra cost. Okay, for the first one, I just went with a green and red. And for the second one, I was trying to kind of mix the, this together because that's not the right color, but uh, it didn't work out, but it's still cute. I was trying to go for like a Winnie the Pooh kind of color blocking. So on the other side, they have Dear Santa letters. And yes, I'm going to write another letter to Santa. And then they have some coloring pages and they have a menorah. No, wait, that is not a menorah. I completely get that is a Kwanzaa candelabra. And I don't know what's going on over here, but okay. My grown up Christmas list. <laughs> Two more days. The foam party. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Waiting to go into Santa's cottage. Hey! Hi, Santa. Good to see you. Oh. Well, we both fit. We can make it work, right? Oh. We'll get a Time to go down the tropical trail. This is cool. It's a toucan. No, wait. Is that... See? See? No, that's a toucan, right? That's a toucan. It's a tropical trail. It's got to be a toucan. Oh, it took me a second. That is a coconut drink. I thought that umbrella was a mushroom at first. What's this one? Oh, it's another one of those coconut things. More flamingos. 
I believe they used to have a rainbow tunnel. I mean, it was obviously much more complex than this, but I'm pretty sure they had one at, um, uh, over at Ima Image Works with Figment. There's some sort of sign that I believe you can see from the street. Well, there's the street, so yes. There we go. That's how you get, you gotta walk out as far as possible and then just point that and angle it up. I know, it's a terrible angle, I get it. But that's how you get it. This is cool. I like this one. Santa shark! <laughs> and we end with a giant pineapple bush. So that's it for Island H2O Holiday Nights. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. My recommendation is to come here early in the year, uh, in the season, get your photos and everything. It's only $20 a person, which isn't bad, and uh, but you can come do that and you can support Give Kids the World because that's where all the proceeds go to. If you don't know more about kid, if you want to know more about Give Kids the World, I'll leave a link down below.